Listen, are you sleeping on quantum computing? Today, we're going to break down one stock that is truly going crazy. It is up 41% year to date. It is out of this world. Now, I'll be honest with you. When ginseng wine, black leather ginseng, you know, that's my guy. When he was saying, man, I ain't worrying about quantum computing. When he sent them stocks down by 20% by saying, I was like, yep, I ain't tripping. But then something interesting happened. He came back later and said, yeah, I think I kind of misspoke. So when he said that, that truly opened my eyes to the power. Because you know, black leather ginseng know what he's doing. So when he said that, I was like, ah. So let's just talk about this right quick, right? While everybody is really on the AI, 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 right? But here's what I want you to understand. AI runs on computers that are already kind of maxed out, hitting their limits. There's another evolution of it. Right. And so the real revolution is quantum computing machines that don't just process faster, but really solve problems that our current computers can't. And there's one small company that is building a tech stack that can make it all happen. Now, this is either the next wave of America or we all out of here anyway. So at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you if this company is either the Tesla of quantum or are they going to disappear like Blockbuster? So before we get into this video, man, I want y'all to do something for me, man. I want you all to straight up like this video, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not, man. And then send it out, man. And then also just comment in the chat and just let me know, man. I know y'all see the new setup, man. Come on, man. We rocking out with y'all, man. So let's truly, 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 let's dig into it, man. So what is quantum computing? Let's just start right there, right? So normal computers, right, they go off zeros or ones. That's the data that's inside of them. Think about when you see the matrix and you see that. Well, quantum computing, they do it with both, right? And that lets them test millions of possibilities at the same time. At the same damn time. At the same damn All right, I'm tripping. Right, so imagine like a password. Well, a normal computer, it tries to find it one key at a time. Well, what quantum computing does, it does it all at one time. And that's truly like the beginning of it. Think about it also like this. There's a breakthrough that's coming, right? And a breakthrough is with new drugs, safer financial system, renewable energy, cybersecurity. Think about this. Quantum can crack a code of today's encryption fast. So we talk about new drugs. We're talking about like cancer treatments, right? Like think about it. Today, drug discovery takes about years. It's just a lot for, for computers. It's complex to break down those molecules. Well, quantum computing can test billions. Listen to me, y'all. It can test billions of molecules, combinations at once. Think about you being able to get access to cancer treatments. And, you know, I got a whole thing about that. But just illnesses and sicknesses, just being able to get to those so much faster. Quantum computing is like the ultimate brain that can do so much at one time. And I know it's hard for us to think because when we think about computers, you know, we not like the Bill Gates of the world. We not like none of them. So we think computers, we like computers are smart, right? They, we got them on our phones, but there's the next iteration of those things that are 10 times smarter, 10 times faster. That's what the quantum computing is. It's like a computer on steroids. I'm born in 82, right? So like in the late 80s, the cell phones were like the big old, you know what I'm saying? Now think about what we have now, right? Right. It does more. It gets faster. It does do, do more things. Well, think about quantum computing like that from an information and a problem solving and a computing component, right? So when you think about it like that, I kind of hope that makes it, you know, makes sense, right? But then let's talk about banks and our financial systems, right? Like banks, hedge funds, you know, they run trillions of dollar calculations all the time. Well, classic computers, they choke. Well, quantum computing can really help them come up with outcomes and, and, and fixes. And, you know, some of the world's smartest people can help us just get out of bad situations. Like It's like playing chess faster. So it can even help you with your retirement and investing strategies and, you know, kind of trying to help us involve, avoid a 2008. Somebody to help us get this $36 trillion debt out of our face. And, and, and so that's the idea of quantum computing. It can really help us. It can really, you know, just be smarter with what we're doing. So, but then I thought about it from the EV space. 
right? Like it can make EVs longer lasting EV batteries, cheaper energy, reduce energy bills. That's the stuff I like to talk about that it can do. Stuff that help the everyday people. I'm not saying the pharmaceutical ain't going to help the people. But from a financial perspective, that ain't going to really help us. Not like we want to be helped unless you can help us get, get that $36 trillion in debt down. But when it comes to encryption with locks, protecting your money, messages, national security, you know we need that with China. So it's going to help us with cybersecurity, right? That's where it really becomes powerful, right? At the same time, we got to think about it from a perspective of what else could it do to help us be better? So quantum won't just change technology. It'll change money. It'll change health. It'll change national security. And whoever controls it, they become the big dog. And that's why today we're going to talk about RGTI. That's right. Now, the thing about this company is they are creating what's called a full stack. Simply put, it's like this. It's layers of all the systems needed. Think about Apple. Apple has a stack of chips, operating system, the app store, so many different things. Well, with this company, they have the hardware, the software, and the cloud access. Why does this matter to us? Because they're doing more than just selling chips. They're really offering quantum at a service. Anything that you can log on to the cloud, this makes AWS scalable. This makes Microsoft scalable. These are the people. So for investors, a full stack company means more control, which captures more value. And y'all already know, man, more value means more returns. So why quantum is the future? Well, projections say that it's going to be a $65 billion industry by 2030. Governments are racing to it. U.S., China, Europe. Industries are impacted. Again, we talked about the pharmaceutical, finance, defense, energy. All of these things are affected by companies like the company that we're talking about today, which is RGTI. So I want you to think about it from this perspective. In the 90s, oh God, again, some of y'all wasn't born. I'm old as shit. <laughs> the internet looked like science fiction back then. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was young, we looked at Back to the Future. And when we looked at Back to the Future, we was like, bro, there's no way we're going to get here. And in 2025, we have everything but the flying hoverboard. And I think we got it. They just scared to release it in that way yet. Right? Like, but we got everything. If you go look at Back to the Future, Marty McFly, we got everything right now. From the flying cars, the TVs, all of that is right now, right in front of us. Right? Today, tens of trillions of dollars in the market, all because of the internet. And it's companies like this that's going to take us to the next level. So quantum computing is the internet of the 90s, that's where it's at right now. And I believe that's how far we got to go. So if you're a new investor and you're catching these shifts, we've seen it. I think this is early stage generational wealth for us. I think this takes us to another level. We're talking about a stock right now that's $22 that can easily be $50 then to $100. So think about this. They also got to go up against the giants. So Google got Sycamore. IBM got deep corporate ties. Amazon's got bracket cloud. This company is small, fast, full stack, so it is David versus Goliath. The Giants have money, but this company, RGI, they have agility because this truly is the new frontier. Right now, we got to ask ourselves, does agility matter without funding? Now, I can't give y'all the pros without giving y'all the cons. Now, the company only has $12 million in revenue, has $100 million in cash, but that research and development burn is heavy. They're not even profitable yet. So there is a huge risk that they can run out of money. Now, they got to get some breakthroughs. The reward, on the other hand, is this. If they land a government or some type of intercost enterprise contract, the stock 100% could explode. Think about none other than Palantir. Once Palantir started landing those government contracts, it took them to another level from eight to 47 to 74. Now we're talking about 160 something, almost on its way to a $200 stock. That's truly what I believe, right? So what about getting these type of companies at these type of deals, at these type of prices? Now, this is a moonshot, but this is why you don't put your whole portfolio here. But a small piece could pay you 
a long way. This is definitely not investment advice. I definitely wouldn't mind you getting a little piece of this. Now, I said it before, this can either be the Tesla of quantum or the MySpace of computing. Would you bet on the other dog or would you just wait for the giants? Now, I truly think that one of the things that could happen and one of the things that could be real is that a big company truly just takes a hold of them, understands what they do, become a merger acquisition or buy them out, right? This is the opportunity. Again, $22 right now is up 41% year to date. Um, only up $6 year to date, but that's a lot when you think about a company like this. So I truly think that this can truly be one of the ones that take us out of here. At 41% year to date, I still think it has somewhere to go. I think by next year, we're looking at a $30 stock if you got that in you, right? Sometime next year, we can be looking at a $30 stock. When we talk about a stock that's going crazy, I think in the next five years, it can definitely be a $60 stock. Right, next five years, and 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 that becomes explosive because the more AI gets into the game, and the more um, you 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 know how man works. You like we want it quicker, we want it fast, and the more we can do that, the more these things come in demand. The biggest thing is, do they run out of cash? I mean, I think that's why some of your bigger companies, Apple, may come in, scoop them up. Some of these defensive contracts come in to get some partnerships. You see some other companies investing a lot of money in them. This can truly be a game changer. So let me know, man. What do you feel about this stock? Let me know. Um, would you invest in this stock? Um, would you wait for a pullback at around 21? Let me know how you feel about this, man. Or do you think you go to quantum, the quantum computing ETF route? Let me know what you think, man. I just wanted to drop this game on y'all. I wanted to see how you felt about it. I wanted to see, because this is something I've really been looking at. Again, once I heard Jin Sin Wang say, hey, I probably got this one wrong. They probably going to be faster. Because he said like 15, 20 years. Then he double back and was like, nah, it'll come a little faster than that. That truly piqued my interest, man. So it's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper, man. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and tell me what you think about this video, man. Salute.